Hi, Barry. We are at the Pavilion of, the Agri of Agriculture at Michigan State University today, and we are at the Michigan Great Lakes International Hor Draft Horse Show, and that's a mouthful, and I'm very pleased to have Aaron Rice with me, and he is the president of the association, correct? Uh, yeah, I'm the president. Um, Michigan Great Lakes International is a 37-year-old show. It started uh, way back in Detroit at the state fairgrounds, and um, over the years we progressed, and ultimately we moved here to East Lansing, and we've just been very, very happy here. Uh, we're well accepted in the community, and it's a great crowd here. So that's kind of we're uh, we have three breeds. This is an all-breed show, so Pertrans, Clydesdales, Belgians. We also have mules. We also have pulling evenings, so horse pulling, farm poles, lightweights, heavyweights, and then also all day going on out there we have plowing competitions because this is an ag community. We have the ground available. We have uh, plowing with horses and obstacle courses. So this is a full venue show. I, we're just quite a quite a group here. Um, this show usually hosts 33 to 35,000 exhibit uh, people every. Yeah, you know, they just come from all over. We have uh, horses here from 26 states in the United States, three provinces in Canada. Uh, one of our Clydesdale judge today is from Scotland. So uh, it's an international show, and it's a well attended and a very popular show here in the Midwest. What an appropriate place for the venue here in the agricultural department of MSU. Tell me a little bit about the horses themselves. I know they're draft horses, and they had kind of a rough start getting here to the United States. How are they still um, used for the reason that they came over? Yes, they are. The, potentially, the intention at the beginning, they are a workhorse. They did the labor of what all machinery does today. Okay, they did the trucking. They did the plowing. They did the, everything in the ag sector. The commercial sector also. So, they, Belgians came from Belgium. Bertrands came from Perch, the county of La France. And then um, we also have the Clydes here who came from Scotland. So they are European descent and they were imported over here uh, back, oh, early, uh, just before the turn of century. So uh, yes, they are the work horses of past, honored today, but here we have the show and what you asked, well, how does it relate? It? When everything was done with horses, such as delivering the milk, uh, all goods and commodities were hauled by them. These large companies, such as the beer companies, Budweiser, Paps, uh, all of the potato companies, all of the food companies, soon they were so proud of their horses they had stables of them, you know all over the united states so it was natural that in competition they soon started dressing them up fancy harness and competing against each other who had the greatest hitch and we so celebrate that today and so still today uh, heavy horses are used for plowing logging uh, cultivation uh, we're in a community here in the Midwest where horses are prevalent and are still used today. So they are the heavy horse. They're, a, you know, you get that gentle thing, the gentle giants, but they are a very gentle horse. They're a people horse. They love to be around people. They've worked for people all their lives, and they're just a very uh, calm and very sincere demeanor. So we just love our draft horses, and we celebrate them here, and the community celebrates them. Uh, this show is. The largest one in horse show in Michigan. It is about the 10th largest one in the United States. And uh, we're one of the few that has the complete plowing and everything. I mean, we just, we're kind of unique to ourselves. And the pulling in. Line, so it's a very special show and it's, it's well celebrated here in Michigan. And speaking of workhorse, I know that we caught you on the fly. What has this been like for you to put this event together? This is a year-long project for myself and my committee. I have a wonderful committee. And um, when I took the responsibility of this show, it's been about uh, 12 years now, um, 
It's an all-year endeavor. I mean, really what I'm doing here today is selling for next year. I work with vendors. Um, I prepare locations. I do all that kind of uh, operational work. And so this is a little different. This is a real effort here. And so it's a 365, 24 hour a day thing. But it's great. It's uh, This committee is so sharp. Each one of them handles their area. And um, we, we, do it very, we do it very efficiently. So I'm very proud of them. And you all do it for the love of the work. Uh, there's nobody funded on our board. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you allowing Michigan Magazine to have a look around here today and be part of this wonderful event. Oh, and we, we are just tickled to have you here. And anything we can help with, let us know. But enjoy yourself. This evening, it's going to get really packed in here. Like, where we're open and talking today, you won't walk in here. Our stands will be full, and you won't walk across here. It'll be just packed with people. They'll go down around the ring to stand to have a spot. So. I'm looking forward to seeing all of the events that you and your crew have worked so hard to put together. Thank you so much for letting us come here today. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. Have a, have a great day here. Okay, we will. Barry, stick with us because I think I'm going to watch some of those events.